So this is the final part of the uh, P26 P shooter for the um, for the interwar wings group build by uh, hosted by UK Skill Modeler, and um, it's completed now. I've got the rigging on and um, everything's finished. So I've done uh, an unusual scheme. This is the Spanish Civil War Republican scheme. Um, one of these did make it there. Uh, it's got a bit of an interesting history. Um, you might know I've got I've put a couple guns on the wings here because um, this was an export version that was sent to Spain, and it was um, it was a test piece to see if the Spanish wanted to uh, buy more pea shooters, and it actually arrived. Uh, it had all the armament, uh, but it didn't have the synchronization to um, actually fire through the engine, so when the war broke out to uh, give it some weapons they put uh, a couple of um, Vickers machine guns on it and there's only one or two places they could have put it so I've um, I've gone for the version that I thought there's only one space in the wing which is here where it would have fit uh, because there's fuel tanks and stuff in the wings so it could have either been inside the wings here or mounted underneath the wings and um, I chose to put it in the wings, but it's probably unlikely. I expect they just bolted it on the bottom of the wings. Um, it had quite an interesting life. It uh, survived for a couple of years and um, finally got uh, um, destroyed in 1937. Um, the kit's very nice. I've used a Bren Gun etch metal set with um, a few other bits from Pavla and a Yahoo instrument panel, and um, all of that was was absolutely fine. The Bren Gun. Uh, cockpit, it's, it's all etched metal inside the cockpit so it does cause a few problems for fit issues but um, it's not a, as long as you test fit everything it's absolutely fine. Uh, I've gone for a chromate yellow interior colour, it's probably more likely to have been aluminium but I thought I'd go for the uh, US trainer colours so I've, I've done a chromate yellow interior colour, olive drab fuse large and the yellow on the wings and um, there are one or two pictures of this actual aircraft in Spain before the war broke out and this is how it was painted, it did have the olive drab and the yellow on the uh, on the wings. I printed my own decals so I printed out the Republican roundels and um, I'm quite happy the fact that the yellow is uh, slightly off from the wing colour as well because thinking on it, if these were field applied uh, it's very unlikely they would have had US trainer yellow in Spain, so I'm, I'm happy to go with that. Um, and then we've got the Republican markings on the tail there and a couple other decals, so that's the Boeing logo and uh, the number, which is the export version. So this is actually technically a Boeing 281, not a P26. And uh, that was the number that it had, which was uh, X12275. And that's in the actual picture before the Republican markings are put on it. Um, no one really knows what it was in the war. Uh, there's quite a lot of um, aluminium versions. Uh, I feel that would be quite unlikely. The fact that it would have turned up in this colour, it would have been quite a stretch to paint that then aluminium dope, but um, or strip it back to aluminium. So I felt like this is the most uh, realistic version. And um, I've really enjoyed the build. It's very nice. It's been um, I've been updating the Facebook group where um, Ian, which Ian's hosted, and there's lots of great builds going on in there, so it's quite nice to watch those and uh, see them progress. And um, that brings to an end a very interesting group build, so uh, thanks to Ian for hosting this one. And uh, look forward to the next one. So I'll leave you with a few shots of this now, and um, see you next time.